Intense efforts are underway to broker a ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon. U.S. advisors Brent McGurk and Amos Hochstein are due to arrive for meetings with Prime Minister Netanyahu to discuss the proposal's details. The pair will arrive with an official proposal that the U.S. believes can be reached within weeks. Netanyahu and the Security Cabinet held consultations overnight to decide whether to advance terms for ending the conflict or expand the ground operation in South Lebanon. Israel Israeli officials, including Strategic Affairs Minister Ron Dermer, are in favor of an agreement that will capitalize on the achievements made by the army degrading Hezbollah in Lebanon in recent weeks. Chief of Staff Alevi reportedly supports a negotiated end to the fighting with a possibility for a deal that is separate from the ongoing war in Gaza. Israel is considering the most recent proposals from mediators aimed at reaching a ceasefire for the release of Israeli hostages in Gaza. The proposal would reportedly include a month-long truce and the release of between 11 and 15 hostages. According to Ynet, the latest proposal was presented by Qatari mediators to Mossad chief David Barnea, who returned from Doha for consultations. The hostages would reportedly be female and elderly. The deal would also include the freeing of a number of Palestinian security prisoners. According to U.S. media and satellite imagery, Israel has destroyed all four Russian-made S-300 systems it had before the Israeli attacks. According to Fox News, Israel destroyed one S-300 battery in April and three more in the strikes earlier this month. The Wall Street Journal confirmed that all of Iran's existing S-300 batteries have now been disabled. It quotes a U.S. official saying Iran is essentially naked and vulnerable to potential future aerial attacks. Israel is also credited with taking out other air defenses surrounding key energy facilities, drone producing sites, and key long-range missile production facilities containing solid fuel mixes. This could take at least a year to replace, harming Iran's ability to launch further attacks on Israel this year. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.